The tag turns to sign in the book of condolence. This is the Defense Force team led by the Zambia Army Commander Lieutenant General William Sikazwe, who shared a word of encouragement with the Kaunda family. And when we see our equipment, we, we are proud that this is what uh, um, Dr. Kaunda gave us. He had foresight, mm -hmm. as we are as the defense and security chiefs here. Mm -hmm. We are, we are proud of what he, what, he, what he did to this nation. He has left a legacy that will live on and on forever. It will never, never die. And Dr. Kaunda's son, TDNG, is overwhelmed with the support rendered to the family. When people like yourselves leave your busy offices and find time to do this for us, our grief is somewhat lifted. And Deputy Chief Justice Michael Musonda led a team from the judiciary to the funeral house to console the Kaunda family. It was he that did the most difficult work of um, um, founding our nationhood, of creating one Zambia, one nation, out of so many tribes. It was he and his compatriots who did the hardest work not only of liberating us from uh, colonial masters, but also of embarking upon the difficult task of nation building. Uh, it was such a rare gift that we had a man like him. Zanako Bochia Person and his chief executive officer also visited the funeral house. We're really mourning as a nation for this great leader, son of Africa. He did so much that you couldn't describe it in a few words. Zanako exists because of him. He created Zanako in 1969, and that's why we have Zanako today. So for us, it's more than just the loss of our former president, it's also the loss of our vision carrier. Some members of the public have continued to visit the funeral house to mourn with the Kaunda family while adhering to the COVID-19 regulations. Ruth Chainda, ZNBC News, Lusaka. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, leave a comment and subscribe.